everyone, I'm Ruben Demaid. This is the look I did on The Ellen Show. There's something else that you love as much as singing. What is that? Makeup. Makeup. Yeah. That's amazing. You do really good, <laughs> good, those are good lips. <laughs> Mainly focusing on the smoky eyes, the eyeliner, contour and highlight, and nude lip. If you want to see how I did this look, then please keep on watching and stay tuned. The first thing I will start with is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage. I use this because it has like a really glowy effect and it gives the skin a nice prep for the makeup. I'll evenly um, distribute this all over my face. And then you just want to use the middle finger to spread it up. I use this finger because um, this is the lightest finger on your face. Once you've massaged in the primer evenly, the next step is foundation. I use the Kaplan D Locket Foundation. Um, my shade is medium three neutral. A great tip if you want to match your foundation, match it to the bottom of your neck and get three shades. Um, a lighter one, a darker one, and a medium one. Whichever one matches, it will blend in easier to your skin and it look invisible. I like to kind of like dot it around my face and then get a beauty blender. Make sure you want to use it damp as well, otherwise it won't sink into your skin properly. You do want to add a little bit to like the double chin area. Not me. Anyway, so I like to do my eyebrows next. I like to use the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown. And I'll take a spoolie and I'll push like my hairs down first. This product is um, really nice because um, it has like a nice angle shape which helps you get around all the curves of your eyebrows. It can brush your hairs up or down. If you really want a natural brow, use feathering effect like that to make it look like hair strokes. I love Kylie Jenner's eyebrows because um, she uses this product. They're natural, but obviously you can see they're filled in. It's a trick of mine, I love to use eyeshadow as eyebrows. So this one will be Shax and this one will be Le Beritis because that makes my perfect shade. People always say there's rules in makeup, but that's really not true. Like eyeshadow, you don't have to use eyeshadow for eyeshadow. You can use it for eyebrows, you can use it for contour, you can use it for highlight. So when I'm in a rush, I normally just use um, a cream bronzer, um, a tiny bit of highlight, a mascara, brow gel, and a bit of lip gloss. It's not everyone has time to do a 45 minute face. <laughs> everyone has a good eyebrow. This is my good eyebrow, this is my bad one. Great. Now I like to carve out my eyebrows with concealer. Carve out means um, sharpen up your eyebrows, like get rid of all smudges and um, things like that. Even if I just get a bit like that. So this um, concealer on my eye eyeball will be used for um, the, the base for the eyeshadow. Make sure you set this, because if you don't set it, if you start blending on top on a wet surface or like smudge everywhere, it'll just be a bit big hot mess, like me. So, I like to set that <laughs> using Ludwin by Captain D, and it's very yellow toned um, light shade, which is great for setting. And you can plop that on and then like blend it in with your finger really nicely, and then do the foundation on top. That will cancel out the redness. Just don't get it in your eye. So I'm just going to do the same to the other side. And again, just. Blending that out. Now you'll want to do the face concealer. Concealer. You'll want to do shape coming up on the side of your nose, up like that, because that will give the best brightening effect. Just going like that, and then again, thin that in. I like to put some on my nose as well. Um, in the centre of your face, it, um, it's nice to look brighter. Make sure that the concealer is two, three, or four shades lighter than your skin. I like to use the tip um, for under the eyes because it gets in all the corners. I use the bottom bit now. I call it the booty side. I blend it in. Once you've rolled that in, take a slightly one shade lighter and I'm just going to place three dots. And then one dot, and then one dot, and then one dot. You don't really want to do um, the circle of concealer around your eye because that makes it so obvious that you're wearing the concealer. If you do the V-shape, it, it just like, looks a bit more natural. I'm going to start doing the cream bronzing. This is actually concealer. I use it for contouring. Um, so I like to get these colours first on a MAC 130. I'm doing the same to the side. Not blending it too much yet. Take 
the two the two darkest ones and then making that into like in between the contour and the bronze and then just go into the with the darkest one on its own and then obviously the jawline um, some people don't have a jawline and then you'll want to get your sponge and just you have to practice to get better like I, I, I feel like I still need some practice but a couple years ago um, hmm, I don't think I was as good you want to get a more creamy concealer put it by here because if it's like lighter by here this will look definitely sunken in so you will look like you have big cheekbones and you will look gorgeous okay so I think that looks good for powder I love to use the studio fix powder by Mac use um, a, a fluffy brush just to like evenly produce it it just like make it look very even and like really pretty I'll be using the Kat Von D shade and light contour kit I like to use these shades it's just quite amazing so this is when I want to use this using these colors under the contour to sharpen it up um, and just make it a bit more evening We're done with the powder, so now we're done with that. Um, I'm gonna use a bronzer. This is like a shade or two light darker than my foundation, which will give a bronzing effect, but it won't actually be bronzer. And then you'll just wanna wipe around the edges of it. I don't like to use any contour powders. I like to use this eyeshadow. Yeah, I need to get a new palette, I know. And you'll just wanna make the line, and then you'll wanna blend it out um, without any product on and then you'll want to do the rolling effect where it like gets into your skin and looks like your skin. If you want to look like a button nose like Kim Kardashian does, you just want to put it over the tip like that. This is LA. Um, I mean, this is the place for nose jobs, but why not get one you can wipe off? For blush, I use that same brush I use for here. It's a very like um, shimmery blush, so it's more natural. Adding a little bit of color does give like the most amazing like um, effect to your skin and it just makes it look like really glowy and beautiful. It looks like you have like a natural flush over your face because you want to be blushing over the boys or the girls. So I'm going to highlight now. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Glow Kit. It's a beautiful kit. I'm going to use them all because I can. Put it on your face like that and then if you want to like make it more like skin effect then just like press it like that. For the top of my lip I love to use my finger. Beautiful. For the eyes, I'm gonna do really natural, but then still quite smoky. So golden ochre, along with these two. I love using like warm transition colors. I'm gonna try keep it on the top in the crease area. Again on the other side. It looks really natural, just like a pop of color there. And then maybe I'm gonna use a bit of real girl, just to give like a bit of like a rosy color. Take the shade of me along with the matte one, and just put that on the lid. I also want to use the shade Cypress Amber. And this, this is going to make the um, look more smoky. The importance of blending is like so important. Like it's probably the most important thing you can do while you're doing your makeup. The more you blend, the more like real it's going to look, and it's just going to look so like incredible and like beautiful. What is going on with my hair? Thank you. Stain. I love eyeliners. Follow the line of where your bottom lash line is and continue that line. That's how you're going to get your perfect shape. Connect it to your eye lash line. And then you want to fill it in. Press into the lashes. And then you'll just want to get some Vermeer, the same colour on the lid. Just like that. And then bring it up just so that there's a pop. I'm just going to add a little bit of the Cypress Amber and the Real Girl, just on the eyes. Because you've got to have something in there to balance um, on top. I like these lashes personally because um, it has like a feathery effect rather than just having a black. You just want to chop off around a third or a quarter. I use the Dual Glue um, Eyelash Adhesive. Get it on the lash line. And you have to wait until it gets tacky before you put it on. And then just place that on your lash line. Make the, your real lash, eyelashes blend into your false ones. Just get a bit of mascara and just put that on. 
What I like about this mascara is because, like, you know when you're, like, doing that, it doesn't actually come on here and there's no mascara on there, so you can't get it on your nose. That is my biggest problem ever. And it's, like, it's literally so rude. Like, literally rude. So all we gotta do now is the lips. I used like two or three, like to four lip um, lipsticks. So I'm gonna use my lip liner first. So I'm gonna use Mac Will. Probably my favorite. I use it on top because um, if the lipstick wears off, you still have this underneath. I just love makeup. I find it so like fun to wear and put on. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I can't even. This um, after makeup it absorbs all the extra powders and things that you don't want on, my, on your face. This helps set your makeup um, to make it stay on longer, like a setting spray. And while my face is still a bit wet, what I'm going to do, I get the Anastasia Glow Kit and I go over the highlight just to make it pop. Because the face is wet, it's going to cling. Absolutely stunning. But I'm done. After you've done this, go for a stroll. You want to um, dance, bump, do more dancing, be walking, and be yourself. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Goodbye.